The Honorable Chief Justice and Associate Justices of the Supreme Court. The House will come to order. The Senate will come to order. Uh, th this bill uh, is to create a task force to study the public financing of judicial elections, which has become a very big deal uh, across the country because of a number of notorious scandals, fortunately none of them in Maryland as of yet, dealing with uh, money coming into the courts, influencing judicial elections, and also the, the conduct of judges uh, on the bench. One of those cases actually made its way all the way up to the Supreme Court, uh, called Caperton versus uh, Massey Corporation, where um, a justice on the West Virginia Supreme Court took uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in campaign contributions and had uh, even more spent on his behalf as an independent expenditure, refused to recuse himself, and the Supreme Court said that that violated due process. Uh, and this is this case and a bunch of others like it, including uh, a terrible case in Pennsylvania where uh, a judge was uh, accepting money, first legally and then illegally, as bribes from a private uh, rehabilitation center slash prison for young people. Uh, he was essentially getting kickbacks for every kid that he referred to this uh, facility. And so he was sending young people off for crimes like truancy and um, uh, you know misbehavior at home and so on. So anyway, the, um, there, there's a movement in place to uh, do public financing for judicial elections on the theory that judges should not have their hands out to the only people who are really strongly motivated to give to such judicial candidates other than close family friends, uh, which are parties that appear in court, um, companies that appear uh, in court, lawyers who appear in court, insurance companies, and so on. And in some states, you even get battles going between trial lawyers giving to one judge, insurance companies giving to another, and that's a caricature of what real justice is all about. So anyway, um, I know we, we do have a, a campaign, uh, a, a comprehensive campaign task force in place now, which this committee uh, recommended to the General Assembly in its wisdom last year, and that's ongoing. This is a, uh, a more specific proposal about public finance of judicial elections, so I would at least like this to be part of the conversation and would repose it to you for your wisdom. Senator, have you read the comments of the Judicial Conference? Uh, th their comments are that they're already the looking... The Judicial Work Group. Yeah, they have a Judicial Work Group. You know, it strikes me, the, the, the task force that, that I'm recommending here has judges on it at every level of the judiciary, but that's not the only voice we're interested in. I mean, certainly we want judges to speak, and, um, you know, it's as if, you know, we made decisions ourselves without inviting the public in for a discussion, too. I don't know that they have members of the public on their task force, and I think that, you know, the public perception is at least as important as the judicial perception of, of justice. Uh, well, they have members of the legislature. I happen to serve. Uh, Linda Lamone happens to serve. Ted happens to be on it. I don't know whether Ted's public this is or the non-public. This judicial. is the judicial work group. Yeah. And uh, as you know, Diane Leisure, Judge Leisure, is our chair. And is this on the agenda? Is judicial public finance? It can be. We've only had, you know, it was just reconstituted. Um, we've had, we had one meeting this year. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works. I'm, I, I would think any member of the group could call and ask to have additional meetings. Okay. Well, again, you know, I'm, this is... I, mean, I think this is a good topic. It was yeah. something... We are concerned about the same things you are. Yeah. And that is these judicial elections are... And we're talking about circuit court. These judicial elections are costing so much money. And um, as you know, there's a number of them now that are going to be decided probably in a couple of weeks on April on our primary election That's right. day. So. That's right. And, you know, again... Maryland is in a much better place than other states are, but we don't want to see this spiral out of control okay. and go down that road. Does anybody have any questions of Senator Raskin? Senator Pinsky does. Yeah, obviously I appreciate uh, the effort here. Now, North Carolina already has this in place. Um, had you considered just calling for public funding of judicial elections immediately? Well, I would, except I don't have a completely clear picture in my mind of how that would work, and there's some complicated questions, which is why, you know, I wasn't going to the task force as a cop-out. I think that there are real issues in there. For example, 
you know, do you give the money to anybody who wants to run? You know, how do you treat retention elections? Uh, you know, are, should orphans court judges be part of it? So I think that there are some complicated questions there that really should be worked out through a process. And again, I, you know, I'm not, I don't mean to fetishize this task force. There might be another venue where we could study these questions that's already in motion. Uh, and, and you guys are the experts on that. Thank you. Anybody else have a question of Senator Raskin? No. Senator, thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, we have the League of Women Vote. No, we have League of Women Voters and Common Cause. Could both of you ladies please come forth? Sure. We'd be glad to hear from you. We thank you for your patience. You probably got here, what, about 1230? <laughs> At least there's Wi-Fi. So you you did. I know you did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am going to ask the League to start first, and it's only because you signed up first. Okay. Well, I'm Nancy Soaring. I'm president of the League of Women Voters of Maryland. Since the 1960s and the last Constitutional Convention, the League has been looking for reform in the way judges are selected. Our preference would be to not have contested judicial elections, but to have uh, appointments by the governor based on recommendations from a task force, and then have nonpartisan merit elections. There have been various bills over the last 40 years to get to that point, but none of them have passed. So in, if, we had, if we did not have contested elections, money in judicial elections would not be an issue. But since we do, we are supporting Senator Raskin's effort to um, reduce the influence of money, and actually in all elections, but particularly in judicial elections, because an independent judiciary, as you know, is one of the cornerstones of democracy. One of the differences that we see between Senator Raskin's bill and the campaign finance task force that was set up last year is the makeup of not only who um, would be part of the task force, but also who makes the appointments to the task force. And we feel that um, his proposal gives a breadth of both knowledge and experience that the members of the other task force may not have. So um, therefore, we do urge you to support SB 181, as he pointed out problems in judicial elections have not hit us yet, but we don't want to wait till there's an issue. Thank you. Thank you. Susan? Hi. Thank you, members of the committee. I appreciate you to hear my testimony. I'm going to be really short and sweet. Um, as you all know, Common Cause has a very long history of supporting public financing, and that includes judicial public financing as well. Um, and so <coughs> to the extent that you see it in your wisdom, I know that there's already a campaign finance commission that has that as one of their tasks to look at judicial public financing. But um, as Lee indicated, if you see it's wise to expand it to have um, more judicial input, which this uh, piece of legislation would allow for, um, we're supportive of that because we are ultimately supportive of the goal of judicial public financing. Are either of you aware of the judicial work group? Are you? No, I was not. I was no. about today. Okay. It, it, it does exist. You, uh, you know where the judicial center is off Best Gate Road? You mm -hmm. meet over there. And um, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen this year. I would imagine we'll probably meet more often. But um, their focus is just what you said, mm -hmm. uh, the non-contested election, instead um, merit elections. So that's been the focus of the judicial work group. Does anybody have any question of these two individuals? Thank you for coming down, and thank you for staying. Let us know if you get a bill out. We'll come support thank it. <laughs> thank you. Uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all very much. We'll see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning.